Hello everyone, we will continue the topic search help exit and in the previous video, previous videos we are covering pre-sell step. We all know the purpose of pre-sell step is to provide the selection conditions. Now what we will do, we will further further go for more requirements as a part of pre-sell step. Now, because this topic is all about what you will get some scenarios based upon those scenarios, how you will achieve those particular things by writing the logic in the search help exit by using the call control steps. Because I told at the initial level itself, interviewer, if the interviewer is asking the question based upon the topic, interviewer will give you various scenarios okay suppose i want to remove those i want to remove some search helps then cell one is the answer i want to provide the selection conditions then pre-sell is the answer so this is the way how interviewer will ask the question now we will further take one more requirement which we will achieve with the help of pre-sell only suppose I am running this particular search. I will go for OK. Now, as of now, what is whatever the payment mode we whatever the payment mode means C and D, we passed and we are getting the records of payment mode C and D means credit card and debit card. Now, what customer is saying? Okay, whenever I will run this particular search help, okay. I do not want this particular pop-up. I do not want dialog box. Just I want records based upon credit card and debit card. See, we are not changing the dialog type. Dialog type is dialog with value restriction only. Through coding, now we will simply, simply suppress this particular dialog box, this dialog box. See, if you will go for display values immediately, yes, dialog box will suppress, okay? Now, we are not going for changing that dialog type. We will achieve through coding how we can suppress that dialog box also. Now, what we will do? It's very easy to understand if flow of the steps is clear, we can achieve this requirement very, very easily. Suppose... If I will put a breakpoint, firstly, we will understand what we will do. I am putting a breakpoint. If the flow of the steps is clear, we can, uh, we can achieve the requirement in an efficient manner. I will run this particular search help. I am ignoring this pop. So now, system entered into debugging mode. I will go to desktop 3. Now, I will show you call control step. Firstly, you all know cell 1 is coming. Cell 1 is applicable for collective search help. Anyways, we are running a single search help. Then we have pre-cell 1. Okay, we have not covered pre-cell as of now. Now, I will go to pre-cell. Now, pre-cell. What is the purpose of pre-sell? You will pass the selection conditions and then that dialog pop-up will come and you will see the selection conditions there. Now, you are passing the selection conditions. Yes, and they are appearing here. They are appearing here. Now, you do not want this pop-up. It means... We, if I want to skip this pop-up, after this, what you are doing? Suppose as of now, this pop-up is coming. Whenever you are clicking on to this OK button, system will go for which step? Select step. What is call control step now? Select. So just think, if I do not want that pop-up, it means system should directly go for which step? Select step. So what we will do, whenever we will pass the selection condition, at that time itself, we will set the step to select. So once we will set the step to select, 
SAP will directly go for selecting that data, that pop-up will not come. And you can understand in a way also, your pop-up is coming. You are clicking on to that OK button and SAP is selecting that data. Now we do not want that pop-up. We will not select. We will not click on to that OK button. Sorry, we will not click on to that OK button. It means we need to set the step to select so that it will directly move on to the select to fetch the data so that pop-up will not come. And SAP provided the full documentation. If you think, okay, how I will think about all these scenarios, there's nothing to worry. SAP gave each and everything. Suppose if I will show you the documentation, if I will go for documentation, just see. Now in pre-sell step, SAP is completely mentioned. Now, if you want to skip that dialogue, you can simply, simply change the call control step to select. And that is true also. See, whenever pop-up is coming, uh, we do not want, whenever pop-up is coming, we are clicking on to OK. Now we do not want that pop-up. It means we need to go for OK button through the, with the help of coding. Whenever you are clicking on OK button, which step called? Select step called. And you can see in the debugging mode also, after pre-sell, once you click on OK, which step is calling? Select step is calling. So we will simply, simply set the step to select. So here itself, whenever we will pass the values to SHLP cell O, now I will write call control hyphen step is equal to select. I'll check the syntax. And I will activate. If the flow of the steps is clear, it's extremely easy to achieve anything with the help of search help exit. Now I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. I will run. I will go for OK. Now, firstly, step is cell one, pre-cell one, then we have pre-cell. We are passing the selection condition to SHLP cell opt. It's a request after passing the select selection condition, then change the step. Because if you will change the step at the initial level, then selection conditions will not be there. Yes. Now, after that, we simply, simply change the step to set. Okay. I will just do F8 because what happened? I changed the code, but I have not come to this search help. I have not run the search help again. Then what happened? This particular total code has not refreshed yet. So I'll just come to this particular session again. You might also face same to same thing. Suppose what I did. I simply went to search help exit and I changed the code. But I have, when I am running the search help, I have not come to this search help again. So SAP still has not refreshed the code. Yes, SAP is still taking the code up to this line only. So what you can do, you can come to SC11 again and you will face this. Many times people will face this. And I have written the code, but SAP is not considering. You just need to come again, yes. And just now I showed you, yes. Now I will put a breakpoint and see. Okay, breakpoint is there. I will run. Okay. Now we will see call control step. It is cell one, pre-cell one, then we have pre-cell. This whole logic will execute. Our SHLP cell opt, yes, it is filled with the two conditions. 
Now we are changing the step to select. And have you seen pop-up did not come. Now we are after select, we are moving on to disp step. And after disp, it will display the data. Once I will select, the step will change to return. So you can understand in the full manner how, how it is working. So again, in this video, we took one important requirement. Yes, but the requirement we have taken, the dialog type is dialog with value restriction only. Through coding, how we will suppress this selection condition will also be as it is. It will select for payment mode, credit card and debit card. And that pop-up should also not come. And I told if the call control steps sequence is clear, it is very easy. Firstly, which step is coming? Cell one means you are selecting the elementary search shells from collective search shell. So that will not impact our requirement. Then we have pre-cell one. Anyways, we are not focusing on pre-cell one as of now. Pre-cell. After pre-cell, that pop-up is coming. Once you go for OK, select is coming, disp is coming, then the data is coming. Whenever you are selecting, then return step is coming and the values are returning. Now, after the pre-sell step, selection conditions, we fill. We filled the selection condition, but we do not want that pop-up. It means on that pop-up, whatever the user is clicking, okay, we need to automate this. It means after pre-sell, we will ask the system to go to the directly select step. After select, disp will come. It will display the data. Once we will select, step will become return and it will return the data. So this is all about this particular video. So that's it. Thank you.